Hello, it's Vince Danzioni here, and in this video, we're going to be going through trading commodities, particularly soft commodities, with Deriv, and I'm going to be using the MT5 web terminal. Uh, now, some of you have heard of the MT5 apps, which are quite popular, but what I'm actually going to show you today is something that I haven't had to download. So this is just working, in this case, Internet Explorer, but you can use Chrome, Firefox, whatever your browser is, uh, Safari. And literally all you do is go to the website and you can access this, you can either bookmark it or you can access it via Deriv and then log into your account. I'm just using a demo account here and that's it. You've literally got MT5. Um, it's a slightly lighter version, but I actually like it. Now some traders say, oh, this looks very similar to TradingView, which is another popular site. Um, and it actually is. If you use TradingView, you, you'll probably be able to pick this up quite easily. Um, but it's if you want the more sort of feature packed, then the MT5 app has got more. But this has still got a lot, and it's very quick as well. Now, before I go further, the usual um, disclaimers: anything that I go through today is for educational purposes only. Uh, nothing that you know when I say buy or sell, it's, I'm not giving buy or sell recommendations. All right, so let's get started. I'll go through the screen a little bit with you, uh, and as I said, we're going to concentrate mainly on soft commodities. But of course, with Derev, you can trade energies, you can trade um, metals, um, obviously you can trade forex and everything else, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about soft commodities in this video and I will be doing some others as well. Um, they've only just recently added um, to Deriv. So the popular soft commodities, you've got two types of coffee, you've got coffee arabica, which is the one that I tend to trade. This is the uh, higher grade coffee and then coffee robusta, cocoa, sugar and cotton. And then obviously you, you've got your uh, metals, gold, silver, copper, some of the uh, more industrial metals and also oil, obviously another huge market. And the nice thing with Derek, of course, you can go long and short, so you can profit from up and down moves. All right, so let's start with this corner here. So if you prefer a lighter theme, um, I personally like the darker theme, you can just click there and change it there. So let's just go back to dark. The color template, if you want to change the bars, again, I just tend to go with the red um, and green one, which is just here. One click trading, something that you just gotta be a little bit careful about. And you can have it disabled if you want. Let's say this is just a demo account as well. One click trading is this, basically. It literally is as it says, and it's a demo account, so we can just do it. So if you hit sell, that's it, you made the trade. Now, if you prefer to have a little bit more control, have the one click trading switched off and go via here, go via the new order. So you see it's the order ticket. So it just make sure um, it slows things down a little bit rather than just having one click trading. Um, but as I say, something you can look at. Market execution obviously means go straight into the market. You can set a stop, you can set a limit. Um, and you see this little bar here that's come up here. If I move that, so say for instance, uh, I want to put the buy limit at this price, um, it will move to there, you see? It's just moving it in the box there, but that's just a little feature. Good till cancelled, you can choose how you want the order um, placed. But let's say for most, you're probably going to be um, trading straight away at the markets or whatever the price is. And then you can choose, you know, how big a size you want. Nice thing about Deriv, you can trade much smaller sizes than normal contracts. And as I say, you can trade long and short. Um, you can also trade, obviously, um, you could be long one commodity, for instance, cotton and short another one, oil. Um, so, you know, th there's no uh, limits on which way you want to trade the market. So that's basically the order ticket. You've got all the popular um, moving averages. Again, what I would say, especially if you're starting out as well, don't go too crazy with indicators. And if you're new to indicators, these are not proprietary, i.e. they don't belong to Deriv or to MT5. They're used across the industry. So let's say, for instance, you don't know what the awesome oscillator is, which is actually quite a popular index. You can literally look it up and it will tell you, and you can look at the different settings. Now, if I want to add that, let's just add that there, and you see the, the awesome oscillator has been added. Now, if I want to remove it, I go to this little box here, and I can take that off, awesome oscillator, and there it's gone. So we've got no more indicators there. So we can add all our technical indicators from there. This one here, this will open up the box on the side. You see that? So if you want more screen space, you can um, obviously toggle between that. So that's your finder. So if you want to find, um, let's say we want to go find metals, 
And of course, you can put the sink. And there we, there we see, we see silver, um, which is there. Oh, and let's just go back to the soft commodities. But if we, if we want to have that closed, and we'll stay on cotton. Let's go cotton. Now, another thing to um, remember as well is, and I, sometimes people send me charts and say, oh, this looks different to you. If you look here, you've got one minute, five minute, 15, 30, one hour, all the way going to monthly charts. If I look at a commodity or any market on a one minute chart, it's going to look very different to say a one hour or a one day um, or one week. So there's nothing wrong with trading, say, a commodity um, on a, a one day chart, a longer term chart. And then you could also have a shorter term system running as well. Um, but just, you know, the time frames will make a difference. Also, say, for instance, with a moving average, if I set a 20 day period moving average, it, if it's on daily, it's a 20 day. And obviously, if it's on minutes, it's a 20 minute. Um, so just watch what time frame you're using. Most shorter term traders are going to be using one minute charts. So each bar represents one minute. When I'm trading stocks, I tend to train, uh, trade daily charts. So I'm on a longer term. But as I say, you can use any time period you wish. You can also add volume. Um, there's another little feature I'll show you because I've just thought of it as well. It's shortcuts. So as you become a little bit more proficient, so you see, you, but you can actually um, use a shortcut. So say, for instance, we want to toggle between the different charts, Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3. Um, we can do that. So I'll show you what I mean. So here with that, we'll just go Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3, and I'll go back to what we were. Um, also, yeah, you, you've, it's just a quicker way just literally to get to certain parts. If there's something you're using a lot of the time, let's say a trend line, Alt, L, um, we, can, we can draw a, tra a trend line. So let's go Alt, L. And you see, I can just draw that from there to there or wherever we want to draw. So it's just, it's just a quicker way that we can uh, sort of get to places we want to be. And again, remember, we can delete it from here. So, oh, this is also news. If that market particularly has news, um, so for instance, here, we click on there, and we can see various news that might affect, not necessarily affect that particular commodity, um, but we can also use a third party site, and I'll show you that in a moment. So, we can have this window open, and we can also have a third party open as well. And let me just get rid of that news because we don't want that news. So we just toggle that from there. So we've gone through the orders. We've gone through the minutes. Obviously, this is volume. If it's available, it's not always available on all markets. If it's available, it will come on the site. Obviously, the chart type, measuring tools, Fibonacci. You can add text. Um, and then, for instance, normally you're going to want your orders open that uh, in view. But if you want even more screen space, you can toggle between your orders being open there or closed. But I think most of the time you're going to want those. And you can also just um, close your trade straight away from here as well. So if I just, for instance, I want to close that trade there, just close it straight away, closed, closed. So there's quite a lot of flexibility. Um, okay, let me just show you this one last little feature. And then what I suggest you do is um, if you haven't traded commodities before, is um, try try them on a demo account. And as I say, you, if you want something simple to try um, to trade, use the uh, MT5 web terminal. And then if you find you want something a little bit more advanced, then you can go onto the MT5 app. All right, I'm just in Internet Explorer. And what I'm going to do here is just open up a separate um, window. Okay. And then let me just narrow that down. And this is barchart.com. And I'm not being paid by Barchart to um, promote this. It's a site I've used for a long, long time. This is just a free version. I haven't logged in. If you want more features, then of course there is a charge for it as well. Um, and what Barchart does, obviously they, they're very strong on commodities. They do have stocks as well. Um, but let's say for instance, well, we're, we're on coffee already. So let's stay, stay with coffee. And let's match that up. Let's bring our coffee chart up as well. What they have is something called bar chart opinion. 
And if you want more features than I say, there is, there is a fee for it. It's not a huge amount. Right now, it's just on an 8% buy, so it's a relatively weak. And what they do, they go through the various indicators like 20-day moving average, various channels, and it comes up with an opinion. And I'm not saying you just go and buy and sell straight off this, but this might be another little tool that can help you. Um, but what I like, you see what I'm doing? I've got the trading view open here, and I can have a secondary website um, obviously, I could have another website as well open if I want to, but I'm just doing one box at a time to keep it simple. So I'm using this to help me with signals or for my research. And I'm using the trading, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm using the MT5 um, here, which is connected to Dero for my actual trading. Uh, so I'm not actually trading on bar chart. Bar chart I'm using to help me find trades. And there's obviously watch lists. Um, it's got all the major futures in there, not just commodities, it's got stocks in there as well. I'm not using their charting. Um, and then you see there's something called a trader's cheat sheet. Let's bring that up because that might help you as well. Let's give that a little time to, uh, to load. Okay, and what it's doing, it's giving me support and resistance levels, turning points. Again, we're still in the coffee contract. And I can use some of those levels to help me in the trading over on this side. Um, but that's just something for you to have a look at as say it's barchart.com and I'm just showing you an example um, of obviously having like a third party open while you've still got your trading site here. Um, what else can I quickly show you when I'm here? Um, there, there is actually a new little ebook which I've written for Derev and if you search online you'll be able to find that and it's called uh, How to Trade Commodities um, by myself. And um, that goes more into actual trading and using a couple of systems as well. You, you find that available. There's no charge. Um, you can get that from Derev or if you check online, you should be able to find that. Um, so that's probably a good place for you to start if you're new to commodities as well. Um, and that's really it. So uh, as I say, be sure to check out some of the other videos I'll be doing shortly, um, both on derived indices, which are quite popular, things like the volatility index, indices. I'm also be doing one on Bitcoin as well. And um, I'll probably be doing something with stocks as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Until the next video.